Hello everyone, in next 10 minutes you will be able to get started on your 3D modeling journey. Whether you're a designer, architect, or just someone interested in the world of 3D modeling, SketchUp is an excellent starting point. So without further ado, let's get started. When you launch SketchUp, you will be greeted with this window, which has the templates that will be the starting point for your model. We shall select one with inches for demonstration purposes. As you launch SketchUp, you'll notice several key components in its interface. The menu bar at the top houses various commands and options, providing access to essential functions. Just below that is the toolbar, a dynamic set of tools that you'll frequently use for drawing and editing. The central area is your drawing area, where you'll craft your 3D models. On the right, we have the tray, which holds additional settings and options to customize your experience. Familiarize yourself with the orbit, pan, and zoom tools on the toolbar. They'll be your companions for navigating through the 3D space. You can also use your mouse middle button to orbit Mouse scroll to zoom in and out, and hold shift key while pressing middle mouse button to pan. Now let's get hands on with drawing in SketchUp. We can use the rectangle tool found in the toolbar to create a basic rectangle. Click to set the starting point, drag to shape the rectangle, and input specific dimensions if needed. You also try circle and polygon tools. Once you have your shape, the push-pull tool is your next go-to. Select it, click on a face, and pull upwards to extrude your shape into the third dimension. Precision is key. SketchUp makes it easy by allowing you to type in exact measurements. In case you mess up something, you can clean up your design with the eraser tool. You can also experiment with the offset tool to create parallel shapes and intricate details. As your model grows in complexity, it's crucial to keep things organized. SketchUp's group feature comes in handy here. Select related elements, right click, and choose make group to encapsulate them. This prevents accidental modifications to other parts of your model, maintaining a tidy and efficient workflow. You can also use components for repeating elements. Let us see the difference between them both with this simple example. Here are two cubes. Let's make one of them a group and one a component. Now let's copy both of the cubes. Now you can see any changes made in grouped cube is only reflected in that cube, whereas in the cube as a component, any edit in a cube is reflected in the copies also. To add finer details to your model, explore the line tool for straight edges. And the arc tool for curves. The move tool allows you to reposition elements easily.
while the Rotate tool facilitates adjustments in angles. These tools are fundamental for refining your design and bringing it closer to your creative vision. Now, let's explore the visual aspects of your model. SketchUp allows you to apply materials and colors to surfaces, enhancing the realism of your creations. To do that, open the Materials panel Choose a material and apply it to different surfaces by clicking. This feature is particularly valuable for architects, designers, and anyone aiming for a more lifelike representation of their projects. To present your model effectively, SketchUp provides various view options and styles. This can be found in your tray, Experiment with different modes such as wireframe, shaded, or hidden line to find the presentation style that suits your project best. These settings can significantly impact how your model is perceived. As you approach the completion of your model, add any final touches or refinements. When satisfied, it's time to share your work. Head to the File menu, select Export, and choose the format that suits your needs. SketchUp supports a range of file types, including images and 3D models. Congratulations! You've now covered the basics of SketchUp. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. SketchUp offers a wealth of features and possibilities for your creative endeavors. If you find yourself hungry for more knowledge, subscribe to our channel for in-depth tutorials. Happy modeling and enjoy your journey with SketchUp.